prayer lives, uh, you'll join me in saying, I've got to, to expect God. God's a powerful God. When I'm praying according to his will, I need to expect God to answer. Well, today we're going to pray together. And as we pray, we're going to be uh, looking at the five purposes of our church. So let's move to that slide. Uh, the five purposes here are celebration, relating, obeying, serving, and sharing. Cross from Crossroads relates to worship, fellowship, discipleship, ministry, and evangelism. We're going to have some folks lead us in prayer, and then we'll go into the service of communion when I encourage you to take the list we've just shared and pray yourself for your own life. But I'll ask those who are going to lead us in prayer as a congregation, if you'll please join me at this time on the platform, and we'll just take some time to pray for Crossroads Church and for the ministry that God has for us this year. Those who are leading us in prayer are Larry Pickering, Nancy Murray, Russ Garman, Linda Simmons-Harder, and Dave Rollins, the chairman of our church. We're going to begin with Larry Pickering, the director of prayer ministries here at Crossroads. Larry. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you in celebration and worship today, and truly, even thus far in the service, we have worshiped you, and we have reveled in your presence that we feel and recognize in our midst here this morning. Lord, from earliest of times in the Old Testament and throughout Scripture, <clears throat> we read of people, your people, men of faith, who stopped at the end of any kind of a an occasion where you were blessing them to stop and worship. And we pray that you would help us to take note of that. And you've commanded us throughout scripture to worship you. Many times we haven't known how to properly worship. And we pray that you would teach us, Lord, to worship. We're thankful for a church that provides an opportunity for corporate worship. And we pray that you would help each of us to avail ourselves of the opportunities in our church, and also teach us, Lord, to be able to worship you in our private life at any time and at any place to honor you. We're thankful that you have given us every reason to worship and that John in Revelation reminds us that you alone are worthy of our worship. And we thank you for that because of your sovereignty, your holiness, your perfection, and that you are an eternal God who yet chooses to be involved with us personally. And we come to you this morning in worship and thank you for all of these things and for what you have done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> 